Christmas Wedding is an okay film. It's not a great film, but it's not too bad. If you're looking for something that's quite easy to watch, it might be a good one to go with. This was released in 2006, directed by Michael Zinberg, and stars Sarah Paulson as Emily, who's getting married, and she's supposed to be getting married in, I think it's roughly about four weeks at the start of the film, three or four weeks, and she has to go away for work and her fiance sensibly doesn't want her to go away for three weeks right before the wedding but she goes anyway and when it's getting time for her to head home for Christmas it's a couple of days before the wedding she's got obviously bachelor events planned and things there is roadblock after roadblock stopping her from getting home weather transport other things getting in the way and I'll be honest there were Two or three too many things causing problems that it became a little bit ridiculous, to be perfectly honest. And I also stopped caring quite quickly. To be honest, one of the main reasons why I stopped caring is that I think Christmas Day weddings are incredibly selfish. People love Christmas Day. A lot of people love Christmas Day because it's a time to relax, to be with family. And if you're, for example, a friend of somebody getting married on Christmas Day, that's going to pull you away from your family to go to this wedding. Of course, people don't have to turn up, but that's not the impression I got from this Christmas Day wedding. So I wasn't actually concerned about her getting to the church on time, as it were, because I'm kind of against the idea of Christmas Day weddings, particularly when you have vendors and loads of people working together to make it happen, as we have in this film. Of course, there are problems because of the weather, so caterers and things are having issues. But again, it's a Christmas Day wedding. What do you expect? So I kind of secretly was hoping things fell apart and didn't go to plan, which sounds evil, but I just think Christmas Day weddings are incredibly selfish. And whether or not that happens, I'm not going to say it. But the point being is that I had no emotional connection to this. I wasn't really hoping things would go to plan. And that's this is probably the only Christmas film where I genuinely secretly hoped things fell apart. It sounds evil, but I'm if somebody invited me to a Christmas Day wedding, I would be so annoyed. And I feel like most people would be. So I didn't really care for her, and I didn't care for her decision, and I thought she was a very selfish person, and I didn't really want things to work out. But whether or not they do, of course, I'm not going to say. What I will say is it's not festive. There is nothing festive about this at all. So if you're looking for a Christmassy film, this one isn't going to do it. I seem to be very negative about this because the actual concept of a Christmas Day wedding, I hate. Emily encountered too many problems to the point where it just became ridiculous. And there's no festivity in this whatsoever. However, I didn't mind it. It's a very easy watch. I think Sarah Paulson gave a a really good performance as Emily and the character was interesting, even if I think her decision to have a Christmas Day wedding is very, very selfish. Honestly, if you're looking for something that's easy easy to watch, easy as a background film, nothing that's particularly special, but at the same time, it's not that bad then give it a go. There are many films I'd recommend before this, but at the same time, if you want something that's very easy to watch, doesn't require that much brain power, and isn't that bad, even though I think it's a little bit over the top at times and a little bit unrealistic, the pacing is good, and I think the passage of time is quite good. We constantly have these reminders of how much time is left until the wedding, and that worked quite well. That actually was very effective. So there are some good things about it. It's not a great film, And I will say, had it been the weekend before Christmas, or even Christmas Eve, I would have been behind it a little bit more, and I would have wanted the best for her. But if you plan a wedding on Christmas Day, then that's entirely your own fault if things fall apart. Nevertheless, a Christmas wedding may not be the best film ever, but maybe it's worth watching once.